Oh, hey, folks. Uh, how you doing? It's coming up on 3 o'clock in the afternoon on this Thursday. And I guess this is the 25th of May, 2023. I hope you folks are all right. I'm uh, suffering with a groin pull, I think is what I've got here. So um, I'm kind of suffering a little bit today. And um, I'm going to have to kind of take it easy. And I'm doing the news here for you. So let's just go ahead and get on with it. I checked the markets already. Bitcoin, uh, 26.3. We've got the Dow flat. We've got the NASDAQ up to slightly. Uh, gold and silver are down marginally. We've got uh, silver at $23 exactly. We've got um, gold at $1,950. Now, let's get into it and let's see what's going on in uh, in the world and for that we will go to Drudge and let's see what's happening okay uh, default fever Wall Street breaks out uh, Dooms bit doomsday playbook let's have a look at that inside Wall Street's playbook to prevent debt ceiling chaos um, Wall Street is breaking out of its dooms Wall Street is breaking out its doomsday playbook okay we're not going to get into it because uh, God only knows what they're going to be doing. Um, it says here, Fitch may cut credit rating for the United States. Um, uh, credit rating, whatever that, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Uh, McCarthy said, it's not my fault. Uh, Dem seek unlikely savior McConnell, Mitch McConnell. Um, it's a Republican, so they're trying to get a, They need five Republicans, is what I understand, uh, to, uh, to pass some sort of negotiated bill. They will. They're all whores up there. As soon as they get something for their state, uh, they'll, they'll give in and they'll get X amount of benefits for their state. It's the same every time. This isn't the first time I've seen this. So it's all nonsense. Therefore, there's no reason to cover it at all. So we'll just keep going. Uh, Oath Keeper sentenced to 18 years for MAGA riot. And I guess that's him right there. Uh, video Elon Ecstasy at Rave. So old, uh, old Elon knows how to... Uh, uh, cut a rug over there at a rave, however that is, okay? Or whatever it is. Shows friends chart of MDMA mushroom benefits. Uh, this is in red letters that says, sorry folks, cancer at CPAC. Resignation accuses Schlapp, ACU, of misusing cash, whatever that means. Okay. It seems to me like I told you folks that when it came to Target rolling out the ability to start making something that's completely inappropriate and insane appear in uh, appear kind of insane and kind of appropriate. So what do we have here? Uh, we have the uh, trans line of clothing and all this other nonsense at, at, at uh, Target. And once again, just like the Bud Light uh, 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 coup that they pulled off because it was so successful, really is, uh, we have a tremendous amount of success with the Target fiasco. So it says here, orders surge for trans designer after Target pulls products, okay? So, again, uh, just what I told you yesterday, uh, Major Sports Hero will have a son who is a, uh, a trans something or another or trans curious or whatever the hell it is. And you idiots and imbeciles, my subs excluded, will go along right along with it. In the, in the name of uh, live and let live and all the rest of it and uh, 
progress is being made for turning our country into a sodomite wonderland. We'll keep going. Uh, Florida laws targeting LGBT stoke pride energy, organizers said. Okay. Uh, Indiana doctor faces discipline hearing over 10 year old girl, 10 year old girl um, abortion that a 10 year old girl got in Indiana. I don't know. I'd have to read the whole thing. Doesn't sound good. Um, it says here uh, states want children to fill labor shortages even in bars and on school nights. Uh, what state is that? Madison, Wisconsin. Uh, lawmakers in several states are embracing legislation to let children work in more hazardous occupations, longer hours on school nights, and in expanded roles, including serving alcohol in bars and restaurants as young as 14. Can you believe this? When you open up the gate through sodomy, anything is possible. Uh, it says Mexico's president tells the Hispanics, don't vote DeSantis. There you go. But uh, no matter, keep coming here, okay, to the state of Florida, no doubt. Uh, workers moved Mar-a-Lago boxes day before DOJ came for dogs. <laughs> All right, so it looks like Trump was uh, one up on the uh, the raid. He must have gotten advance notice. <laughs> All right. Mysterious boom rattles South Carolina home shake. Tina Turner dead in Switzerland at 83. Um, simply the best is what they're saying she was. Um, why she renounced U.S. citizenship. Let's have a look at that. Let's have a look at that. Uh, let's see. Uh, following the death of her, she explaining why she renounced U.S. citizenship. This is her quote now, not mine. Quote, I have left America because my success was in another country, the rock and roll legend said in the 1997 CNN interview with Larry King. Private Dancer was a sad song. It was a song about uh, women that dance for men and they, you know, they shake and strut and whatever for men. It's a sad song. It's, uh, you know, I'm your private dancer. I'll do anything, this and that. Um, Dancer for money. I'll do what you want me to do. Those are the lyrics loosely. It's kind of a sad song. Um, you never look in their eyes. Keep your mind on the money, et cetera, et cetera. Private dancer, quote unquote, was the beginning of my success in England. And basically, Europe has been very supportive of my music. When asked if Europe was more supportive than America, Tina said yes, hugely. King pointed out, that Turner was a superstar in America, but she retorted back saying she was not as big as Madonna in the States. I'm as big as Madonna in Europe, she shared with a smile on her face. I'm as big in some places as the Rolling Stones. Possible. Very possible. She was, um, you know, really, she, like I told you, in the mid-90s, she was doing these blood treatments or something. I had heard about it. And um, it was to make give her more energy or something. I, I don't know. But I remember seeing it. Ah, oh, geez. And uh, it says here that she lived in England for a couple of years. Then she met a man. And she lived with him in his country of Germany for three years. After that, Turner bought a house in the south of France. Which she was, quote, in and out of, unquote. 
as she was rebuilding it. But ultimately, she said Zurich, Switzerland, was her home. Uh, nothing wrong with Switzerland, I'll tell you. Uh, can you imagine seeing those uh, beautiful, um, you know, mountains and so forth? Must be heavenly. So, um, let's see. And then it just probably goes on. And that was her in better days. Um, it just seems to me like I remember the NFL being in its heyday, uh, you know, around the time that she was really big. Uh, beyond Th Thunderdome, which I think was in 90 or 91. That's what I think. And I just remember the NFL was, I mean, it was, you know, now I don't watch it anymore because the whole political nature of it. But, um, boy, those were good times. It's We had ho only moderately insane things going on, not excessively insane things going on. So let's go ahead and um, get back, finish out the news. As I suffer here with my hamstring, not a hamstring, it's uh, something else that uh, I've overworked myself to death. Let's see here. Uh, celebs have new obsession. 81-year-old Japanese architect, who cares? Two Texans die from fungal brain infection after plastic surgeries in Mexico. I know you want to look better, folks, but um, that voluntarily going under the knife business, not good, okay? Uh, study, morning people have higher levels of faith and life satisfaction. I guess that's people who get up early in the morning like me. Uh, elephants love hanging out with people, scientists find. You know what I came, you know what I, having a bad uh, lightning storm. I'm going to have to get inside here very shortly after this news read, which will be coming up very shortly. Uh, you know what I was thinking about today? It just occurred to me. I wonder if elephants could play frisbee uh, or um, uh, golf, uh, frisbee golf or disc golf. I wonder if they could make, uh, adapt the thing for elephants to be able to throw that disc with their tusk. I'll bet you they could understand it. They're highly intelligent animals. I, I would think that would be absolutely fascinating. I'm not making that up. I mean, I'm making it up, but I'm saying I think it'd be fascinating to watch that whole thing occur because uh, elephants are not only extremely smart, but they are caring. They have high levels of compassion as well. Which, generally speaking, makes them incredibly uh, like empaths, like they understand uh, people suffering and things like that. That's what I'm. Uh, uh, that's what I'm guessing, and I'll bet you I'm right on that, because uh, elephants uh, are really amazing creatures. Okay, let's keep on going. Uh, uh, summer kickoff, big crowds for travel season. Uh, more airlines encountering near collisions. Uh, the whole Branson space tourism business is facing a lot of hurdles. Uh, Sergi Brin has secret plans to put airships back in sky. Folks, I don't know if you know this or not, but back during, I believe it was the late 20s and early 30s, these gigantic thousand foot helium balloon Zeppelins were all the rage. They were extremely popular. And um, the reason why they failed, truthfully, was because of the, um, what was it? The, they used helium, didn't they? Which burned. But um, otherwise, they were fairly successful. Generally speaking, it's just that they were so big uh, for the small amount of people that they took anywhere. But there could be something in the future for that. That's not a particularly new idea. The Germans were big on those Zeppelins. In fact, they, uh, the uh, Nazis had them. The Third Reich had Zeppelins early on, I guess. 
Pretty sure they did. 100% lab grown babies in five years. Uh, Chinese caught robbing British war graves. Uh, Iran, Iran unlocking gates to Armageddon, question mark. Shows off ballistic missile. Mounting tensions with Israel herald possible military showdown. A uh, quote, Putin's butcher, unquote, says Russia facing revolution. Um, Moscow claims U.S. weapons were used in attack on their soil. Uh, I have absolutely no doubt of it, in my opinion. I have no, no, no doubt. They were called uh, MRAPs or FRAPs or whatever the hell they are. Um, folks, this isn't particularly hard to believe. I'm not telling you it's true. I'm telling you that I have very little, um, I have very little uh, skepticism um, in, in believing that they're American um, vehicles. They, we want a war. We want a full gauge war with Russia. When the economy suffers, when you have a military event, it kind of gets the economy back on track. That could be part of it. Uh, that uh, that uh, volcano in Mexico is getting worse. Uh, Macron's having a hard time in France. That's the leader of France. And that's it, folks. I wish it could have been a little bit uh, more exciting. It wasn't. See you later. Now you're up on things. Bye. From a very, very stormy, lightning-y, dangerously lightning-y South Florida. Goodbye.